So a very good afternoon from Hidden History, guys. Last August, we was very lucky to get the opportunity to document um, a set of storage tunnels out the back of a workshop um, in Dover. So um, the owner gave us special permission inside uh, and also communicated to us that the, um, the storage tunnels were used to store wine in the uh, 19th century. So possibly during the Napoleonic Wars uh, and even continuing on into the uh, Victorian period. One thing we did notice from our explorer of the network was various um, signage, possibly Second World War, and also period graffiti dated uh, 44, um, and also similar uh, time frame within the Second World War. So we believe that could have also been used as a public accommodation shelter during air raids. But um, yeah, the thing is, we don't actually have any factual history surrounding the location. Um, we have literally what the, um, the owner told us, uh, the history surrounding the location is. So uh, it's a really interesting site. The compass that's been etched into the wall um, during its occupation and operation is amazing. Um, it's a real highlight uh, throughout the tour. But yeah, it's just a quick uh, brief tour of the place uh, to document the history and uh, we hope you all enjoy it. Hello guys, so Hidden Histories uh, back for uh, quite a brief video really, but we've just managed to get some permission outside an old workshop in Dover, so uh, I thought I'd just grab some footage quickly. I don't, I don't really want pictures and videos inside here, but we're um, always going to do a quick look round while I've managed to get the, uh, the time alone in here. Not quite sure what this would have been used for other than maybe a storage area of some sort in its day. It's uh, rather large and it's really well kept. Obviously some areas of it in the beginning are being used as storage areas, but uh, yeah, I thought I'd just come through here and get some, uh, some shots of this place. It's really stunning to be honest. Ladies Lavatory. And what you can actually see down the far end is where you had an entrance to it originally. Here, that's been sealed up now. And you've actually got a sealed area here, which probably leads off into another network of tunnels. But this is incredible, guys. And this is just out the back of somebody's workshop. So it's uh, Quite surprising. I don't know anything about the history of this location at the moment, but it gives me something to research and uh, as soon as I know then I'm going to post up the tour. But yeah, a lot of the storage areas, very nice. I've got a little gem at the end here, which is an original early compass. Look at that folks. Incredible. Areas of it are lined with uh, electrical lighting as you can see that's still being used as a workshop and in this area you need a torch really. But these have all been used as storage at some point in time. But for what is unknown I think. Another nice little symbol on the walls, and that's the thing down there. Incredible. We've actually got some um, graffiti up here. Lots of it. Betty. So yeah, no idea what this place actually is, guys. But um, we're going to do some research and try and find out for you. So yeah, stay tuned and uh, when we find out some information we'll post it up. So we hope you enjoy that little brief tour of uh, a location out at the back of a workshop. <laughs> and yeah, please continue to like and subscribe as we discover the past with Hidden History.